Hey world, it's been able to come back to another video. I just want to take a little time to, you know, just kind of reflect on everything that's been going on these last couple of weeks, right? Before I drop a little video. Like I say, fam, this is real news versus fake news. And, you know, first of all, I just want to start with, you know, do you know that the U.S. deficit is almost $30 trillion? This is what they tell us, okay? This is transparent information where you can look up and see what is the U.S. deficit. Almost $30 trillion, right? So you got to ask yourself, who do we owe that money to? Okay? First thing to understand, family, that our whole monetary system is built on a federal reserve system, which is... It's only called Federal Reserve because it's to try to trick the people to thinking federal is associated with, you know, American or, or United States. I mean, it can be no more, no further from the truth, right? It's a central bank. And all the major countries in the world have those central banks. And they all pretty much fall in what they call the World Bank, right? You have the World Bank. You have the World uh, health health organization WHO you have the WTC the World Trading Commission and every major country is a member of this organization the World Bank the World Trading Commission the World Health Organization uh, and so with that being said it kind of makes sense if the United States owes almost 30 trillion dollars in debt that means us as so-called citizens, you can be work. We gonna be work for the rest of our lives to pay this debt off. My kids, their kids, kids, their kids, kids, kids. Because remember, think about how much the interest is on thirty trillion. All right, and then it just says I'm on television where, you know, fifteen to fifteen to twenty percent of all the revenue made in the United States goes just toward the interest paid on the debt. Now imagine if every working person knew that, okay, the government says we owe $30 trillion in debt, right? But each working person knows that every time they work and get a check, it's taxes taken out of it. Every time they purchase something, it's taxes taken out of it. If you purchase a home, taxes. If you purchase anything, taxes. So ordinarily you would say, well, how... The hell can you? We have such a huge deficit. Oh, that much money! If people over three hundred million people are constantly working, constantly paying taxes, right? Exactly. And see, this is the whole concept of real news versus fake news. See, that's something that I think everybody should be conscious of, and be asking a question, because not one politician have. And I call them politicians because of the politics. You dig? Not one of them has let the constituents in their particular district know, okay, this is who we owe all this money to. No one knows. It just tells you it's a, you know, and we know that China, of course, has a huge economic impact on our economy because, of course, they own major companies in America i.e. Burger King, General Electric, but that's that's just a small percentage of it. Okay? Every time the Federal Reserve prints money, they charge us interest on that money. And you got to realize this money that's supposed to be money has no intrinsic value. It's not based off of anything but us giving it value. Before they had it on the gold standard. Now it's not on the gold standard. It's basically just printing money and telling us this is the value. This is what we, we need you guys to pay. Okay? Now, just imagine, in 1978, the value of a dollar had $3.99 worth of purchasing power. Think about that. $3, almost $4 worth of purchasing power in 1978 that a dollar had. Now, you know, today a dollar ain't buying that. Right. And every year the value of the dollar goes down because the more they put into the economy, the lower the value. OK, it's the supply and demand. 
if you flood it with a lot of money, of course the prices are going to go up because the value of the money has decreased. And so when you know that aspect, then you have to pay yourself first and get yourself in a situation where you can utilize the different tax loopholes to keep you from paying all this money in taxes. All right? Because the fake news, of course, is the second attack on the Capitol. A 25-year-old Alfred Melanated man ran over a cop, right? And he, he gets out of his vehicle with a knife and he gets killed by cops. But you have all these other mass shooting with these people apprehended without being killed. That's fake news. Okay? Fake news is the border immigration crisis. How can that be real when at the Capitol they have fence, they have the National Guard protecting the Capitol building? From who? The people that voted these people into office, but you can't protect the border by sending National Guard down to the border? Okay, I know in Ace Town we're taking like 300 or 400 uh, kids in Ace Town. Uh, the government is spending like $85 million on hotels for these uh, illegal immigrants to come into the country. Mostly kids. You got to ask yourself, why just the kids? Real news versus fake news, family. So like I say, stay on top of what's going on. Like I say, anytime they tell you that the deficit is this much, almost $30 trillion, that's basically pulling on your heartstrings and then putting a lot of fear in you. Because think about it. How are you ever going to pay $30 trillion back? And who do you owe $30 trillion to? That's the question. You did? Not, you know, the border crisis. Not, you know, a blitz on the Capitol. What? Because when they had January 6th Capitol insurrection, none of those people were shot, even though they were attacking cops. So that doesn't make sense. You dig? So... You know, watch what you say on the television, family. And like I said, the last thing I want to say is, uh, <laughs> isn't it amazing how right now every state has the ability to open up based on the numbers of vaccinations? What's going to happen is this. If they're talking about vaccination passports, having you having to prove that you've been vaccinated, come on, that's Nazi Germany. Well, you having to... Prove that you're vaccinated. Your freedoms are going to be stripped from you. You can't travel. You can't go to certain restaurants. You can't go to certain events. You may not can go to school. Certain certain places of employment, unless you get a shot. Really, when it's just the flu. When you get it, you go quarantine. Now I can understand if people over the age of 50, 60, 70, if they want to get quarantined because a lot of those people are dying from it. Because of course, anytime you have an underlying health condition and you get older and you get some type of illness, it's going to be exacerbated. I can dig it, but I mean, taking a taking a vaccine that you know people have died from, that you know there's been a lot of uh, speculations on its you know validity. It's just kind of hard to do. I mean, no one's been forced to take flu jobs, flu shots. You did? Pay yourself first, fam. I just want to come back with a little food for thought. Uh, who do we owe $30 trillion to? Ask yourself that question. And, you know, if they really want to stop the border crisis, they're just sending the National Guard down there. I mean, you don't need a wall to stop people from coming over to a country illegally. We can't just go to any country illegally because guess what? They got soldiers right there. You did? And, of course, I could say, uh, you know, if it's the vaccination passport coming, then you got to really ask yourself, where are we now? Okay? If you, get a if you didn't get a chance, make sure you check out the, bro the book Brave New World and, of course, 1984. All right? Thanks for joining me, family, in the garden. In the meantime, between time, may the most high side to bring you joy. And being well is out of 5,000.